Good morning everyone, yes it is time to look at the Bitcoin charts again, welcome to the Bitcoin family YouTube channel for the newcomers, my name is Didi, taking a look at the Bitcoin price at the moment, 21,000 something, but what are we going to expect next, uh, also sharing some really interesting charts that will show you something um, very important I think when it comes to the complete Bitcoin cycle, so keep on watching the complete video to the end and of course always click all the links down below everything that we share over here. Now the first BAM chart is this one of course, um, always sharing this one as first is like the 4 hour chart on Bitcoin. Um, if you want to sign up and trade Bitcoin then please do so using our links, for example Bybit giving you up to $30 just for signing up and another $30,000 US uh, depending on how much of Bitcoins you deposit. You can scan the QR code or click the link down below. Now on this beautiful setup here uh, we can see the 4 hour chart and we can see the BAM BAM indicator again. There wasn't a 4 hour, it was an amazing call over here. Um, there was a shitload of profit with that BAM BAM indicator uh, if you're still in it. You could have taken like almost 17 18 percent if you're still in it it's even like 20 percent but normally we would close the trade over here at 70 percent of profit without leverage with leverage way higher now what is the bam bam showing us the bam told us hey we need to short now this is like the moment to get out of your um or long or to short the market uh, but we only do that when we see yellow on the bottom, the blue line down below, and their candles need to close down below the yellow stepping line. Now, there has a shitload of 4 hour candles been closing down below that stepping line. So normally, we should see a pullback in the Bitcoin price. To these kind of levels of 19,600, maybe even here 20,500, but a small pullback normally should happen. But Bitcoin is just way too bullish at the moment. Um, so also the BAM BAM indicator sometimes can do a call and it can take longer before that call uh, or that trade will fill, be filled, of course. And if you have 9 of the 10 trades correct and 1 is wrong, it's still profit. Now, let's zoom out. Let's zoom out. If you want to have access, start, by the way, to the Bam Bam Indicator, um, you go to the BitcoinFamily.com. Um, uh, you find products and you will find the indicator packages or, for example, the uh, spot bot that's trading automatically for you. Just check all the website to see more. Now, if we zoom out a little bit, bam, we get this chart, the monthly chart. Um, on the monthly chart, and for those that are following this channel for longer already have seen this chart like many, many, many times. Um, I've been sharing that chart already like for a year almost. Um, the monthly chart, we see a long. We don't see these longs very often on the monthly chart. To be exactly, that was a long over there. That's 2015. That was a long over there. That's 2019. That was a long over here. 2020 and now again along again this candle needs to close in 13 days so this long can still change if we get like a huge uh, crash of bitcoin the long will disappear and the red arrow will continue to build because uh, we need to close the candle and the candle will be closed in 13 days but again it doesn't happen as often that this long flashes in my opinion the bull run top if we do all the calculations Pause the video if you want to um, calculate it all for yourself. Um, I will make my face a little bit smaller so you can pause it without my face. Um, but if you pause it, you will be able to calculate all those months that it would have taken um, from, for example, um, the top to the next stop, or the bottom to the halving, or the bottom to the next stop. And all of these are always in line. And now, the next, if we calculate the bottom to the next stop, uh, the next stop should be somewhere in September to 2025. The bottom to the halving was again correct, was only 15 bars now left. So yes, that was again in, um, in line with what we saw before, 18 bars, 16 bars, now 15 bars. So check this chart, uh, pause it and um, let me see in September 2025 if the chart was right again. But we will be going up slowly to that halving moment in 2024. I think the halving would be somewhere around 30k or even higher. Um, and then we will get that huge push to the next bull run top, guys. Now, let's quickly jump into some very interesting charts that are over these here. This is the first one. And the first one, uh, very important one, this one uh, you will find on Willy Woo's website. Uh, you see the website on the top over there, charts.woo.com. You can get it for free. Um, this one has the CVDD floor. And that purple line, the CVDD floor, um, like DD floor, that one <laughs> is indicating every time uh, when the bottom is in. Bottom in, bottom in, bottom was in, 
COVID crash, bottom in. So very important, we are bouncing from that purple line once again. And every time we bounce from that level, you see what happened. Yes, we bounced here up and we came down a little bit, but not to touch that line anymore, but we slowly, gradually went up. So that doesn't mean we will go to 100k right away. We can still come a little bit down again or go sideways and come down, but the positive part is the bottom should be in. And bam, that is also what you can see on this chart. Um, this chart, my face needs to be smaller here on the top over there beautifully. There's the realized price uh, and, and MVRV um, uh, together in one chart. Now, if you look at this chart, there is a few things you need to notice. These amount of days over here is 157 days. 300 days 134 days and at the moment it's 179 days so these days are the amount of days that it took from um, here that we cross the line till we cross the line again so here when we cross the line till we cross that line again these amount of days so on average this is a very long period 179 days it's not the longest one that was 300 days but it's longer than the other two periods so it's a beautiful moment to be breaking um, that line. And if we break that line, again, it will tell us the same. Here we broke that line, bull run. Here we broke that line, bull run. Here, short term bull run, like 3 to 14k. Here again, bull run massively from 3k to 70k. Here again, maybe a short term from 3k to 30k to 40k to 50k and then a little bit back. And maybe the massive one later, but positive is it is positive in my opinion now um, then we have one more really cool chart over here uh, why is this really cool because this chart is showing us that already 25 percent of the united states people um, that own more than 100k so that have an income above 100k you can see it over there 25 percent of them already owns bitcoin and income of 50 to 100k already 20 percent owns bitcoin so well, the thing that you can see is that the richer people in the States are owning Bitcoin. The people that don't have that big income yet, they are not accumulating yet. They only have 11%. And this is exactly the reason why the rich always become richer and the poor become poorer. Because the poor don't want to adapt to this. They don't want to go all in into something that could change their life forever. And that is why people should realize that this is something that only happens twice in their life. One time I had the internet boom that I missed because I was too young. Now I have the blockchain boom. And then third time I will probably be already too old. So for those people that now are Gen X, you should be investing in this now. Already 25% of the United States people that own, that have an income of 1K already is. There is a reason for that. And now the very important chart that is this one over here, guys. I think um, you should all understand exactly what this chart is showing you because it is very important. If we look in Bitcoin now and we look to the complete picture of Bitcoin, we can uh, we make the chart a little bit bigger like this. So, um, so if we look at Bitcoin and this chart, you can see on the left here the hodl duration. So people that held Bitcoin less than a day are dark red. And people that held Bitcoin more than 10 years are purplish. That's long term. So from 5 to 10 is long term. Medium is 1 to 3 to 5. Short term is 1 to 1 year. 1 day to 1 year. So if you now look how the complete history of Bitcoin, um, the balance between all these levels shifted, we can see one thing very clear now. Here, this purple area. That purple area is becoming bigger and bigger and bigger. This means more people are already holding their Bitcoins for longer than 10 years. The more people huddle, the less Bitcoin will be available to the market, the higher the price will be going as there is only 21 million and demand is growing tremendously every time again and again and again. And that is what we can see. We can also see that there's still a lot of people in this midterm area. That is this yellowish area here to the mint green. This one, the huge amount of people are uh, holding already for one to, to five years. Also very positive. And we can see that this small area on the bottom here, that is the area of the people that all had one day to one year. They are always selling again. They are selling. And that is how Bitcoin every time moves and moves again and again and again. And um, this is the Bitcoin cycle. 
and always the people that buy at 40k, 50k, 60k, they see Bitcoin crashing. This is the short term hodlers, longer than like one day, but shorter than one year. They are selling. And who's buying? The 10 year hodlers. So the weak hands sell to the strong hands. And because Bitcoin is now, um, if, we, if we look back at the chart one more time, um, one second, if we go back to this, we go back to this chart over here, this means um, that if the price is above the yellow line, then the biggest part of the Bitcoin holders are in profit. So more and more and more people are in profit because the, they are, because the Bitcoin price is now above the realized price. So from the moment in the bear market that people were in loss, because they were like, um, because they bought at 50k and 60k and 40k and they are selling now, they sold into the hands of people that believe in the Bitcoin long term and they are all slowly becoming profitable again. So the more the market shifts again to people being in profit because of holding Bitcoin, the more, uh, the less sell pressure there will be and the more buying pressure that comes because of the demand and that will drive the new cycle uh, all the way up to a new all-time high. Now, that was everything for today. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification and leave a comment. What do you think about these charts, about the Bitcoin price? Hopefully you bought the dip because I have been telling you for weeks to buy because even if we would fall to 12K, what you all expected, you could have bought a little bit more at that point. But now a lot of you, I think, didn't buy and now already we moved 5k up from 16k to 21k so which moment are you waiting for to buy start to dollar cost average buy a little bit of bitcoin on all these levels because if the bull run comes you will always be making profit again thank you for watching hope you enjoy your day see you tomorrow again bye bye Bam.